Hey guys, today on Rick's Woodworking, we're gonna build a small lamp. This is the light fixture that goes in there, and this is gonna get mounted on the top and just shine light up to the ceiling. And what we're gonna build is we're gonna build a cube. Real simple, the light will be mounted up here and we'll route the cord down below. We're gonna build this out of MDF. We have some left in the shop. We're gonna cut the MDF at 45s. We'll do that at the miter box. But first we're gonna take this material and rip it down so it's easier to handle at the miter box. Our box is gonna be five and a half by five and a half by five and a half. So we've set the saw up at five and three quarters and we'll rip down that sheet. We've set up a stop block at the miter saw at five and a half. We're gonna use a block to hold the piece in place while we cut it. Once we can do the first cut, it's a matter of just spinning it around and doing all four sides. Our light is thicker than the MDF and we really want this resting on something solid. So what we're gonna do is trim this piece to fit the top. Went to our chop saw and just cut this out to size. Now we're just gonna glue it onto one of the sides. It'll become the top. And I'm just gonna use some pin nails. I had previously made a jig for installing these lights. It's used with the router and it has some layout lines inside of it to set it. Using my ruler, I set some lines on the top of our block. Then temporarily pin the piece in place with my pin nailer. This piece is gonna be painted so later we can fill those holes and paint over. I've set up the jig on top of some 4x4s to raise it up off the table so that I can clamp it. I've also put some shims underneath the piece to support it from the bottom. With a mortar seam bit on the router, we're going to carve out a circle using the jig. Then we'll remove the jig, set the depth for the thickness of the light, and finish the hole directly on to the top piece. I'm going to check the depth of the hole. I'm going to put in the piece upside down. Maybe a bit of a struggle to get it in and out. And there's the little wedges are just touching, which means it's perfect. Now what we're going to do is remove it, put this onto the rest of the cube, and later on we'll drill through for the wiring. To assemble the rest of this, we're going to use some painter's tape.
After resting overnight, I removed the painter's tape. We have a couple of little gaps here and there, but that's okay. We're gonna sand everything, try to get it smooth, and then we'll fill in these pieces. This goes painted a flat black, so those little lines won't be shown. If this were a hardwood, what we would do is take some sawdust from the wood itself with a little bit of glue and put it in those grooves. While the putty dries, we're going to go ahead and drill some holes for the wiring. With the putty dry, it's time to pour more sanding. We're going to paint the piece flat black. We'll start with a brush and slowly build up the layers. First coat of paint is dried, we're going to switch over to 220 grit sandpaper, give everything a light sanding, and give it another coat. After four coats of flat black, I just don't like the finish on this thing. So I'm going to sand it some more, and then go back to my tried and true polyurethane. After letting the polyurethane dry overnight, it's time to put on some feet. Just remove the temporary nails and glue on some feet. For the electrical, we went out and purchased a standard kit for putting together lamps. We'll wire that up and put the base in place so we can slide the lamp into the box and then it's a matter of plugging it in and testing it out after i pulled the wire through i put in the ring that holds the lens in place this is held together down to the piece with two screws so i went ahead and pre-drilled and screwed the ring down. I decided to use a regular hand screwdriver rather than the power driver so that I wouldn't strip the screws. After trimming the wire coming out of the lens to the right length, I simply twist it on each of the sides and I'm gonna use some wire nuts. I thought about soldering this together and using some heat shrink tubing, but thought, you know what? The wire nuts are really good and it should work just fine. And now for the big moment. Let's test it. All right, it works. So let's just add a little bit of protection, make sure those wire nuts stay in place. Let's wrap some electrical tape around them. This will make sure that the wire nuts never come loose if they happen to heat up. 
I tie that zip tie around part of the wire so that it won't slide out of the hole in the back of the lamp. Now once the wires are all in, the lens which holds the light should just pop right in. Now to add a switch. Cut my wire to interrupt the flow. And this switch has little pins that just poke the wire and make the electrical connection. Real simple. And again, just use my screwdriver. Didn't want to strip the screws. And now, it works. It's a pretty simple project, this lamp. I'm gonna use it in the corner of the office space to shine up onto the ceiling. Join us next time to see what else we'll build on Rick's woodworking.